What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over ROAS. So I'm gonna be answering the question, what is ROAS? So in terms of what the letters stand for, it stands for return on ad spend. And the actual formula for ROAS is your ad revenue earned based on your total advertising spend. And you can break this down to an individual campaign or you can look at your total ad revenue for your total advertising budget for the year. So you wanna look at it in both ways so you can see how your overall ads are performing and what is actually performing the best for your business. So let's look at an example and let's just say I'm running an advertising campaign. I spend $10,000 on ads. So my total advertising budget is $10,000 and I end up driving $20,000 in revenue to my business tied back to my advertising campaign. So what is my ROAS in this case? In this case, using the ROAS formula, it is 200%. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your ad revenue, you wanna divide it by your ad spend, and then you wanna multiply it by 100% so you can show your ROAS as a percentage. So it should always be shown as a percentage because if you take $20,000, divide it by $10,000, you're gonna get two. So what you want is a percentage of what your total return is based on your ad spend. Now, the difference between ROAS and ROI is ROI is gonna actually take into account your costs as well. So in addition to the costs that you have for your advertising campaign, your other costs such as business costs, product costs, overhead costs, any other costs for your business is also gonna be taken into account when you're doing ROI. So if let's just say, for example, I spend $10,000 on ads, I have $10,000 in additional product costs, shipping costs, and overhead costs and every other business costs, and then I drive $20,000 in revenue, your ROI would actually just be that you break even, it's 0%. So that's the major difference between ROAS and ROI is ROI is also gonna take into account your business costs during your advertising campaign. Now, one of the questions you might have is what is a good ROAS? And it really depends on your profit margin. If, for example, in the previous example that we just used, so this $20,000 in revenue, $10,000 in spend, let's just say my profit margin is 50%. So that means if I bring in $20,000 in revenue, then my profit is $10,000 because 50% is going to additional costs for my business. Now, in that case, my return on investment would again be 0%, like the previous example I just said. So hopefully that makes sense. When you're looking at ROAS, you're really just looking at your advertising spend. So a good ROAS is gonna be looking at your other costs as well. When I'm looking to maximize ROAS, I usually try to find 300% or more as a starting point, but you really want it to be as high as possible. So a good return on ad spend is gonna be something that gives a positive return to a business, that a business is spending money on advertising and they're driving new profits that they weren't driving previously. So that's ROAS, return on ad spend. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.